So far, police have not charged a man who drove a Jeep through a crowd of protesters on I-225 in Aurora. But the passenger of that Jeep is now posting on social media about the incident. Sky 9 captured how the driver sped through the crowd on the interstate this past Saturday. Aurora police say they are still investigating. For more on today's developments, 9 wants to know Jeremy Hohola is live with what that passenger is claiming in this video that surfaced today, Jeremy. Yeah, hi there, Ryan. This happened as people marched on I-225 in protest of Elijah McClain's death. So far, police and the district attorney's office have not announced charges in this Jeep case, but the passenger inside this Jeep claims his friend might be charged with attempted murder. Greg Goodenough who was a passenger in this Jeep, is posting about this incident online. He claims protesters surrounded the vehicle on Saturday, and some of them had bats and were looking to attack, attack the Jeep, he says. He and his friend were driving on I-225 Saturday after leaving Top Golf for the airport, he says. Good enough claims they did not see the protests on either side of the highway until after they drove onto the highway on-ramp. He says that's when the driver of a white pickup truck hit the Jeep on purpose. The driver of that truck told Nine News he did it to slow the Jeep down, fearing it was going to hit people. Here's Good Enough's claim on why they drove through the crowd after that. Once this white pickup truck did crash into us, a man with a bat then approached the vehicle and began swinging at the vehicle. We then proceeded to speed off to avoid any potential damage to ourselves and the vehicle. Once we took off from that incident, a gunman then approached the freeway and started firing seven rounds at the Jeep. We then proceeded to go even faster and made our way through the crowd, which dispersed as we approached it, as well as once the gunfire did go off. And while police have not decided yet to file a case against the driver, they have arrested and charged a man by the name of Samuel Young. As we reported, Young is accused of firing towards the Jeep during this whole chaotic scenario, and instead hitting, hitting, hitting uh, two fellow protesters, though pro those protesters are expected to be okay. We'll keep monitoring what's going to happen with this case in the justice system. Back to you. Yeah, of course, Jeremy. All, uh, many of the protesters who were there that day are pressuring the Aurora Police Department to speed up this investigation to look closely at what this driver did before, during, and after. We'll have to wait and see. It doesn't sound like we have anything new from them today, right? Yeah, that's correct, Ryan. Nothing new from the police department. They're still investigating the case. All right, Jeremy Hohola reporting today. Jeremy, thank you.